Hi guys, it's Damaris. I am back. I want to share with you what I've been up to with my smash book. I have three current smash books that I'm putting things into. I have this orange one which has become my summer smash book. I have the baby blue one which is all about Geo. And then I have the pink one that is just completely random stuff. This was my first smash book, the pink. I had no clue what I was going to do with it and I just started smashing whatever and it's just my whatever smash book. I have the black and I have the other blue but I haven't started them. Definitely got to get the white. Um, got to get, well I want, really want all of them and then I want a second of this one because I really like it. So if you haven't seen it yet, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to go through the extensive details of it again. But this is what I titled it. It says, I am smashing just so you'll know what I did this summer. And then I use a lot of stickers from, I think this is Echo Park. I really don't remember. Echo Park Summertime. Added some thickers and some of these. And um, so the first page you remember, I did this, I did my summer smash hit Avengers, which I fell in love with the movie after I saw it, I was like so inspired that I smashed until like 6 in the morning that night, <laughs> and um, so I wanted it to look like a magazine, so I made it like that, added my own flaps to it, and I know people have asked me for tutorials on it, and I... I really don't have the time, you guys, to do tutorials. I don't have the editing, you know, ability with my laptop. It's such a piece of crap. But, um, hopefully one day in the far future I can do it. So I added all of these, like, flaps that I, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Open this up and it's got another section here. So I basically made each page about a different character and then this is what we did that night when we went to Applebee's and then up here is like three characters in one down here I have more journaling about our date and so I just added flaps which I stopped doing because it makes my pages really bulky and then I can't close or open my book so the next two pages um oopsies so this one to the left I smashed about um, when I went shopping to get this orange purse right here, this Tommy Hilfiger purse. I posted this picture on Facebook, on the Smashaholics um, Facebook group page. And I had a lot of comments and it just became the funniest thread for me of comments of people and um, I decided to smash about it. I also, I don't know if you could see. So this is the purse I got. I couldn't decide which one. And then I also purchased those shoes. Which I still haven't worn them. And then so I used some um, stamped out images that I fussy cut. And this is a pennant die. And this is from, um, I forget. I think these are sticker. I don't remember. These are some chipboard with stickers. And then this is that Martha Doily punch that I'm in love with some vine um, trans some flowers by um, Joanne this wood veneer piece and then my journaling on this side and then this one is a page this is one of the challenges that we had in the Smashaholic group was to use a stamp a digital stamp on your on your page over the weekend and I totally cheated because <laughs> this is not a digital stamp you guys I don't know if they do sell this as a digital stamp but it's not and I also cheated because she's been colored in for like two months now and she's been waiting to be put on a card but I haven't done it in a card so I decided I would just use her here and um, I added this um, this felt sticker by antique papery collection color book these flags here are actually pre-cut flags by Martha Stewart and I just um, used some rub-ons on them. This is a, a, a die cut piece from Little Yellow Bicycle. I added some stickers or some kind of something it says. Here's a doily that I sprayed up with the Studio Calico. 
I keep saying Studio Cal... Is it Studio? No, it's Mr. Yeah, it is Studio Calico. Mr. Huey's. The red one. And I also sprayed it with, uh, Mars... Uh, what's it called? Not May Arts. Maya Road. Maya Road, a red spray that I have. Added some stickers up here by October Afternoon. Some butterflies. I made a double, um, pennant here. With the two different sizes that I dashed. And then I added this pennant also across, which I fussy cut. Um, this is a journaling spot by... I think it's, I think this is by um, Simple Stories, but I don't know what collection it's from. And a button, one of these buttons by um, Walmart. I know Sharon received it in a rack from me. The blues, they're Walmart girl, 97 cents. <laughs> and then this is a ticket by Recollections here. And so this page is about Rachel, and Rachel is a girl that I met in the Smashaholic group. And basically, she's become my Smashaholic bestie. <laughs> she's really funny and she gets me. She gets my humor. So I skipped these two pages. And then, um, oh, here's my Mother's Day layout. And this is where I added more flaps. You see? There's a lot of flaps. I think I could show you here how I did it instead of doing a tutorial. So what happened is I didn't like the pages like you know some of the pages come with like ugly fishes and frogs and like ugly things so let me show let me demonstrate what I do with like pieces of paper okay this is what I do let's pretend this is gonna cover that page so this will cover this page this is gonna be what I want it to be on this page but I also want to add a flap that comes out of here. So this is what I do. I'll take a, a piece of paper. Let's pretend this is a piece of paper that has a, you know, extra fold of over. So what I do is I glue this like this first down so that this becomes the flap. And you can make it so that it comes all the way over here. You can make it so that it's just a little piece. You can put it down here. You can put it up here, wherever you want. So you do that, and then you take the piece that you want to you want to have as your front page, and you glue it on top, and it conceals this little flap. It conceals the flap, and it, it makes for an extra journaling spot or picture. That's exactly how I do it. You can do it at the bottom here. You cover it up, and then it becomes a flap that lifts up, etc., etc. So that's how I do it without having to show you how I do it. <laughs> so that's what I did here. See? This flap is somewhere behind this piece there. And, um, so this paper that I used, this is Dear Lizzie. I used a lot of the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan stickers and this grass down here, this is some stickers by, I think this Kane Company of Recollections. These Happy Times, Family Time, Remember Memories, those are stickers, those are uh, stamps by Unity that I inked up with Jenny Bolin inks. And here's my journaling here and it says 513, full of surprises, fun times, I added some stickers and chipboard pieces, random. Here's a picture of Geo, let me show you. We went to, what's it called, Cracker Barrel? This is Mother's Day, yeah. We went to Cracker Barrel and then I had this fussy cut uh, Bella Boulevard um, hot air balloon. <laughs> These are the Polaroid pictures that I took with my Instax camera when we were outside after we ate. We were doing the rocking chairs. And that's Hubby and Geo on the rocking chairs. And then, let's see, on this side... I added some more um, secret stuff, secret pockets I call it. So at the very top I added a pennant um, banner with some punched out clouds that I um, did some faux stitching. These are stickers, stickers. This is a butterfly by Heidi Grace or Heidi Swap, I always get those confused. And then down here, I did my journaling. This is some washi tape on the sides. This is a, um, from the Dear Lizzie stamp 
that I inked up fussy cut and then I added this little tiny Polaroid right here I don't know if you can tell that's a little Polaroid and it says hey with some stickers and so this opens up like that and then this opens up the other way let's zoom out that opens up the other way because the washi tape acts as a little hinge for the little swinging doors so this is us and then this little tab pulls out to reveal another picture. So those are my little secrets. <laughs> Alright, so the next page is nothing. And then over here I did um, a page about my mom, her birthday. And um, I fussy cut these um, hexagon pieces. And this is from Echo Parts. Um, I think this is Hello Summer by Echo Park. I made my own banner using twine and what I did was I punched out the Fiskars Punch banner punch and then I just layered it all around 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 until it covered up the whole punch. This green back there is washi tape and then those little circles were punched out with um, stamps. These um, were punched out. The clouds were, oh no they were cut out. This is a cut out also. The little hot air balloon and then my mom's pictures at the bottom added some more twine over here because this was a part of a challenge we had to make something and we have to also I think use twine for that challenge so this was the last page I did actually <clears throat> and on this page um, I did it so quickly it, it might have taken me 20 minutes I think to do um, I received this doily in a package from Yaya and I purchased some um, things from her, some dyes some MFT dyes and she sent me this huge gigantic doily and I was so in love with it that I got just so inspired by this doily and I decided to make a page and um, I just cut off the end here added some stickers, crybaby and actually the stickers I used are right here well, I didn't use these D's, but this is what I use. It's called, it's by Fancy Pants. It's called Baby Mine. These are the stickers. So I just, um, to bring out the green, I just um, doodled around. And um, I added some stickers from uh, Echo Park's, one of Echo Park's collections. And I doodled around. I added the Doily Punch by Martha Stewart. This button here. I got from a website called pigtails freckles and pigtails dot big cartel dot com and I will leave you the link to that below I will also leave you the link to yeah yeah store so you can go check her out and then um, the little Polaroid this is a picture of Gio getting in his little pool that mom gave him and he didn't like it he cried the whole time <laughs> he was so upset and which is weird because he loves to go swimming he loves taking baths so he just didn't like the little pool and I thought it was so funny so that's that page and then this page was a road trip that we went to Port St. Lucie and this is what I this is a little um, Instagram that I wrote the night before we, we did it because um, this was when hubby wanted to take me to Hobby Lobby to shop and I was just so excited about it that I couldn't sleep the night before. So this is me. This is me wearing my cute Hello Kitty shirt from Old Navy. And my cute um, Je, Je Dole Paris bag from Old Navy. And um, just a lot of washi tape. This is like really messy smashing. Which probably is what it kind of should be. Because I'm a little bit more organized with my smashing now. But um, this is the haul that I did that I think I showed it to you guys. And then we went to KFC and some journaling. And then I fell down and I got really dirty. And that's why I put your trip at the bottom here. Let's see. I fell down while getting the mail. <laughs> so that was that. And then this one you probably didn't see. But this was a challenge for the My Design team. Sweet Nothing Stamp Company. We had a color challenge, which is still going on, I think. And um, so check out my website, my blog. Check out the website, Sweet Nothing Stamp Company. 
stampco.com stampco co dot com and it was a color challenge so I colored in Sophie Beach Sophie and this was us when we went away from Memorial Weekend to Orlando so um, I'm not even showing you it sorry guys I added a camera die cut that I found at Dollar Tree picture of the tree in the clouds and then I'll do my journal link down here and some stamp over here and stickers and just a lot of cute things doily this one um these die cuts by the way this is from the dcwv collection pad it is called i can't remember i'm so sorry i can't remember what it's called but um they sell it at michael's and so i cut those out and then i printed these pictures and i stuck them inside so it looks like it's a polaroid added this pennant right here and here and this is by Recollections. Added this um, journal spot right here, and I, I split it in half because it's this is the bottom piece, and then this is the top piece. It's one, two, three. Smile. That's from a printable journal spot. This is a die cut by MFT. It's uh, one of those file strips, film strips. This up here where it says fun. This is a stamp set that I got from Etsy, and it's a discontinued stamp set. And um, the seller is in the process of uh, creating more because there was such a high demand for them. So um, I just inked it once and then inked it again and then inked it again. And you could see like the border stops right here and right here. And I just fussy cut it all around as one piece. I colored in the, the little um, clips with my Copics and then I added these stickers. Added Summer and th these stickers are by Pebbles. <laughs> And then add more stickers. And then, let's see, do I have anything else? I think that's it. That's all my entries for this book. Yeah. So that's it so far. I just wanted to share that with you. Give you some inspiration. Get you to start smashing. I don't know if you guys are into it. I don't know if you have any smash books. But I know there are a lot of people that do have smash books and they're just like a little bit intimidated to start or they don't know what they want to do with it and like I was the same exact way in the beginning I had no clue what I wanted to do but now I'm realizing that the way I'm smashing is, is kind of like project life but it's not weekly it's when something happens you know when when I feel like okay this is something important that I want to remember let me keep it in my book other people do smashing as far as like things they like like let's say they they like um a t certain tv show so they'll smash about the tv show they'll do smashing about themselves like okay i just turned let's say you know i just turned 30 years old i'm gonna smash about w how it feels to be 30 now um what are my goals for the next year yada yada you know people just smash about journaling you know, they smash about their diet, they smash about um, the people they hate. <laughs> there's people that do that. I wouldn't waste my time doing it, but there's people that do it. I guess it's their way of getting out the anger and, you know, frustrations. And there's just so many different reasons to do it. It's just so fun. It's like, it's messy. I love that there's no order to it. It's, it's my favorite part. There's no order. You, you can use 500 random colors and it just, it's gonna always look good, you know? At least to me it does. <laughs> but, um, you know, I hope this inspires you to dust off those books and start on it, you know? I know Sharon is one of them and I'm gonna shout you out, Sharon. She has a smash book and she's in the Smashaholics group but she has not smashed. And I understand it's time consuming for her because she's on a lot of design teams and she does a lot of different projects and she's got a toddler who keeps her really super busy but girl it really just takes 10 to 20 minutes you know I want you to start doing it because I love it and I know she's gonna love it you know and I'm like I'm excited for her to start already but um that's about it I'm talking too much it's almost 20 minutes I'm so sorry it took up all of your time but um this is it. I hope you guys liked what you saw and I hope you guys are inspired. And let me know. Leave me a comment below if if you're a smasher currently. If you're not a smasher and you're interested in it, you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I'll talk to you soon.
Bye girls and guys. Bye.